YouTube. I am your host, Travis and Beer. We are back with another video today. We have a video that is going to be informative and it shall help an individual who is in preparation and taking the sterile processing exam, okay, for Isham. Okay, this is for Isham. Now, I would like to have a, a let, you, let, to let you guys know that on Isham, they also they display what I am going to tell you before we get into the content of the information. If you are interested in passing the sterile processing exam for Isham, in the description box below, it will forward you to Etsy. Etsy is where you will find the cheat sheet. The cheat sheet is a workbook and a guide that will help you pass the exam. Okay, there is a digital version and a physical copy version. They both are in the Etsy store at this general moment. Uh, they both are exactly the same. The digital you'll get within the same day. The, di the um, physical you will get within a few days from that when once the order is purchased. On top of that, if you have any questions about the uh, cheat sheet, then my email is also in the description box below. So please feel free to email me and I will get back to you regarding the information at hand. Let's get into the content. Before we do, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Once again, this is going to be informative for anybody who is in process, in route of taking the sterile processing exam. <clears throat> so, um, okay, guys. So, we are, I'm going to show you this right here. And this is going to be on the Isham website. On the Isham website, they basically give you a guide of what will be on the exam. Okay, let me say this again. They give you a guide on what will be on the exam and how much of it it will be. For example, if you are studying the whole entire book, um, Isham basically breaks down the the chapter. Not I'm sorry, not the chapters, but the percentage of how much it will be. So if you are racking your brain and trying to figure out, are you studying the right thing? You need more items to understand and more things to study. You may not need that because here we will show you. Let's go. Okay, so I'm not going to do much talking in this, but I just want to let you get, guys get a visual view of what's going on here, right? Now, on the right, it shows you the percentage, right? And it's highlighted in green. It tells you what will, what is the percentage that it is. So as you just previously seen, that was decontam and it had a certain percentage for you. And this one is a prep and pack. It has a 20% for you as well. Now, what I want to also show you guys is what is highlighted in blue. Now, those are the subject manners of that particular topic, okay? So, once again, this is all on Isham's website. Isham provides this for individuals to see uh, what will be on the test, like how much of it you need to study. So, anybody who's interested in checking this out, once again, this is on Isham's website. Now, a lot of people do ask me, what should they study? What should they study? I'm going to immediately direct everybody that is studying anything studying this what they are actually presenting to you on this site that way you just don't have an overload of studying information that may not be needed for you okay now it just may not be needed for you at all as you see it's like 10 percent of sterile storage and inventory management so what does that tell you you don't need to study a whole bunch of extra stuff that's not a uh, relevant to uh, what you may be needing okay uh once again it's on sterile processing i mean this is on isham website now isham did change the name uh but if you still put an isham on google it will still transfer you to the correct name don't forget to comment like subscribe all that good stuff this is an informative video for anybody who's interested in taking the uh isham exam who was curious what should they be studying okay i'm out guys peace y'all stay safe I've been traded to the streets I've been traded to the streets Like the Knicks doing a sweep I've been traded to the streets Chicken riddle